Good afternoon. I'm Judy Studebaker, President of the Board of Directors of the Regency Oaks Scholarship Fund Incorporated, a 501c3 corporation. The past three years, we have had a wonderful presentation ceremony and reception. Unfortunately, this year, because of COVID-19, that is not possible. We are severely limited to a very few people in the room at one time. So the presentation to the recipients are being taped and will be shown on channel 732 for the residents. Thank you to all the residents for the generous support we have received this year. We are also grateful to Brookdale, Health Peak, our new owner, and LCS, our new manager, for their support. Brookdale gave $2,500 last year and Health Peak and LCS have given us $2,500 this year with the promise of $2,500 more this fall. I want to recognize the board members, Bobby Belcher, Robert Colachico, Johanna Gusick, Don Infante, Dee Culp, Mac McKenzie, Linda Rudiger, Nelson Toll, Lou Weislogel, and Mike White. A big thank you to Johanna Gussick and Ginger Horton for arranging today's presentation and preparing the decorations and programs. And thank you to Bobby Belcher for the beautiful certificates. This is our fourth year presenting scholarships based on merit and need to our Regency Oaks Associates. We received 22 applications and are awarding 21 scholarships. In 2017 and 2018, we were able to present $1,000 checks to each recipient. In 2019, we were able to grant a total of $39,000, ranging from $1,000 to $4,000. This year, because of the generosity of our residents, Brookdale, Health Peak, and LCS, we are able to award a total of $62,400, ranging from $1,000 to $5,000. Each recipient of a scholarship must be a current associate of Regency Oaks. The scholarships were considered on a case-by-case -case basis and are not all the same amount. The criteria considered by the Regency Oaks Scholarship Fund Evaluation Committee, Committee included, but were not limited to, the evaluation of immediate past transcripts of grades, supervisor evaluation, assessment of SA and community involvement, family history and career goals, estimated cost of tuition, books, fees, and other costs associated with the next school year, and length of employment at Regency Oaks. Decisions on the award amounts were made by the Evaluation Committee and approved by the Board of Directors. Awardees are expected to maintain contact with their assigned scholarship board member mentor, maintain at least a 2.5 GPA, and work toward obtaining the appropriate degree and or certification. Johanna Gusick will tell a little bit about each recipient and I will present the certificate and check to each one. Jimmy Tenney started at the health center three years ago as a CNA and then became an LPN unit manager. She is a three-time scholarship winner working toward a registered nurse degree online from Excelsior College in Albany, New York. She wants to be more involved with the health care of the residents and to use her leadership skills with the health center team. Thank you. A five-year employee, Clarissa Benzardi, will be receiving her fourth scholarship from Regency Oaks. She is one motivated occupational therapy student. She will be graduating from the University of South Florida in December and applying to graduate school. She has been paying all of her expenses by working four jobs, doing classwork, and eight hours a week of clinical observation. Clarissa says, working in dining services at Regency Oaks has heightened my teamwork skills, patience, and communication skills. Thank you. This is the fourth scholarship Haley Bayette has earned from the scholarship fund. She works in dining services. Her goal is to get a degree from the University of South Florida in psychology so she can help children and adolescents through their struggles. While at USF, she was a soccer coach where she learned uh, to be a leader. These scholarships have been 
her only financial aid. Haley thanks the residents for making this possible. She says, you are a blessing for helping students. Thank you. Moved to the U.S. in 2006 from Thailand. She graduated from the University of Houston in human nutrition. She followed this with a degree in nursing from Texas A&M in Corpus Christi. Growing up in Thailand, she spent time with the elderly and even more at Regency Oaks Health Center as an RN. Joy was enrolled at Texas A&M to be a family nurse practitioner before the U.S. Coast Guard decided to transfer her husband from Texas to Florida. Now Joy has to travel between Florida and Texas for her clinical rotation. This scholarship will be a great financial help to her. Thank you. Costello has been a Regency Oaks Dining Service employee for four years and is in his senior year at Florida State University. His real love has always been NASCAR. He wrote in his essay, I had the opportunity to be an intern at Daytona International Speedway, confirming for me that I have chosen something I love. Also, I appreciate how seamlessly the system is working here at Regency Oaks during the pandemic. It's impressive. Thank you. Larissa Fetterman works in dining services. Her major at the University of South Florida is biomedical sciences. Eventually, she wants to be a surgeon for Doctors Without Borders. A university professor wrote this about Larissa. Her command of Portuguese, Spanish, and English will be a great asset to her medical future in an international setting. Not many students with a part-time job taking five classes during a semester completes them successfully. Larissa does. Hunter Forrester became interested in videos at an early age because it helped him with hearing and processing information to compensate for his central auditory processing disorder. He uses this disorder to give him a unique ability to tune into visual aspects of a story. Besides taking 16 credit hours a semester and working in dining services when he's in town, Hunter has produced two student films, three videos, another set of videos for his college, the Palm Beach Atlantic University, and two of those have appeared on ESPN. Thank you. Brandon Lashbrook in Dining Services will be graduating with his AA degree from St. Petersburg College and enrolling at Florida State University for a bachelor's degree in meteorology. Analyzing severe weather, such as supercell thunderstorms and hurricanes, has captured Brandon's attention. He also has a second passion in photography and knows these two go well together, recording weather phenomena for the record. Thank you. Amy Little worked in activities at the health center for two years. It gave her an understanding of the residents' social needs. She returned to her home state of Michigan for a brief time. However, she realized Florida's weather was what she wanted. Amy returned to the health center as admission coordinator. Amy likes the administrative side of health care and will be studying health care administration at St. Petersburg College. Thank you very much. Vidi Lopez Lugo in Dining Services is an A student at the University of Florida and volunteers to help incoming students with their adjustment. She tutors first generation college students. She will be volunteering at Shands Children's Hospital in Gainesville, helping children cope with long-term illness. This will be valuable in her nursing study of pediatric care. Thank you. Erica Morales has been with Regency Oaks for 18 years. She started as a server in the South, moved to the laundry, then housekeeping manager in the healthcare center, and is now its scheduler, interacting with human resources. Erica combines her full-time job with studying business administration at St. Petersburg College. This will be her third scholarship from the fund. Thank you. 
Penelope and Navarro work scheduling in the maintenance department and some evenings in the tavern while attending the University of South Florida. She will be starting her first internship this fall in an elementary school. It will be two full days every week as a teacher's assistant for the semester. Her studies are in elementary education. Thank you so much. Venus Navarro, an employee for eight years, now in Human Resources, is a graduate of the University of South Florida in Business Administration. She has received our scholarships three previous years. Venus knows the importance of being a certified human resource professional, so this fall she will be taking the Society of Human Resource Management class through the University of South Florida for certification. Thank you so much. Arlie Lopez Pena has been in the maintenance department for one year. He came to the United States six years ago from Columbia. Arlie is eager to learn all he can, and now he wants to learn air conditioning at the Polytechnic Institute of Tampa. Coming to work at Regency Oaks, Arlie says his colleagues are rivers of knowledge waiting to be shared. He is very happy to have this opportunity. Thank you so much. Daniela Popovic is thankful for the scholarship money she received last year and this year because they have paid for part of her tuition at St. Petersburg College where she will receive an AA degree in business. She plans to continue her business courses at the University of South Florida. She feels lucky in ways you cannot imagine to work in a place that helps their employees. She's especially thankful to the residents who donate to the fund to help her advance. Thank you. Gabe Lopez Rivera works in the North Dining Room. As a student at Countryside High School, he also took a course at St. Petersburg College, where he will be a full-time student in fall. His course of study will be education. He plans to be a teacher to help students with learning disabilities. Gabe was part of a concert singing group, as well as the marching and concert bands at Countryside. Thank you. Nika Rivera is so proud to receive her fourth scholarship from the scholarship fund. It is a slow process to get her degree in business from St. Petersburg College, where she takes six to nine hours of classes and works full time in the health center food service. Her supervisor there says she takes the initiative to learn every position in the kitchen. She is eager to be the first in her family to have a college degree. Thank you. Maddie Rush is enrolled full time at St. Petersburg College in business management. She has worked in dining services for three years where she has served in many positions as a server, host, expo, and at parties. Normally, Maddie volunteers many hours at her church summer camp, but that has changed this year. Just as COVID-19 has changed her studies, now she works solely online while keeping up her grades. Thank you. Jackie Sandoval just earned her bachelor degree in clinical psychology from the University of Central Florida while working in our tavern and a daycare center. Now she has enrolled in their master program in social work, which she can take online. This will be the third time Jackie is receiving a scholarship. She is interested in gaining more insight into helping adults in their pursuit in social work. Thanks. Santiago, a member of our tavern staff, just graduated from Countryside High School and is enrolled at Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton in biological sciences. She wants to go into the medical field. Besides having a good academic record, Samantha is an avid community volunteer at food banks, bike runs, food festivals, art festivals, carnivals, and everything else that goes with it. This is Amy Iorio's second scholarship from the Scholarship Fund. She is working as a certified nursing assistant in personalized living and a full-time University of South Florida student. This year, she earned a place on the Dean's List and an invitation to join the Honor Society. After graduation, she plans to apply to graduate schools. 
Thank you very much. I'm very appreciative, and it means so much to me that you guys do this for us. If we had an audience, I would be asking for a round of applause for these exceptional individuals. Please do that wherever you are watching this. We're looking forward to another great 2020-2021 year, and if all goes well, we can have a wonderful presentation and reception next year. Everyone be well and be safe.